Andrews here from Sweden again. I'm standing here with my cajon, which I, in the last project, actually uh, installed a couple of electronic triggers in it on the surface, made it to trigger with a mega drum, and you know, got some electronic sounds working through a concept which I call e cajon. Um, for this time, I'm going to show something new, nice, which I've been doing lately. I've actually installed the Mega Drum module inside the cajon. So uh, basically, it's uh, just the, the, the Mega Drum board inside it. There's no buttons, no display, anything. So it's a complete back box solution where I've been actually storing the drum configuration on the module. So it's actually powers up directly when I installed the USB connector to it. So, so that's the, the concept. So I've also a couple of more trigger inputs if I want to attach, let's say, a pedal or kick drum or whatever outside. So I've also an, an ordinary microphone installed and I have an output for that as well. So but for today, today I'm going to show this uh, USB port and what the Mega Drum together with the e cajon can do. So I'm going to put it like that. And I'm going to install the ordinary USB cable like that. And I have the other side of the cable here, and you can just hook it up to a PC or to a Macintosh if we want to. Very easy. easy. For today, I'm going to do something a little bit more advanced. I'm going to install this. I bought this Apple USB to a lighting connector. So, and as you hear lighting, and then you start thinking what, what I'm going to install, hook it up to. It's actually an ordinary iPad which I have been hooking it up to. So I'm doing like that. So, this is the great. So, right now, when I attached it to the, the Magadram, it's actually booting up and everything is done in the background. You don't see anything. And for today, <coughs> I'm going to do like this. I'm going to fire up an application called uh, Deem Touch from Alesis. It's it actually it was in the background already. So uh, it's a very nice application, really good sampling. Uh, you have about uh, ten kits where you can pick and choose the drum sounds as you want to. Uh, you can play with it with your fingers. Yeah, it's working quite nice, and uh, you know. There is a couple of pre-configurations. You're able to tune uh, the, dr and the drums if you want that. You have also a small mixer if you want to mix it out, and you know. And there's also a lot of settings and things like that. So, so uh, this application it's uh, it's working with uh, with uh, uh, you know these kind of devices. The Mega Drum is actually supporting Core MIDI. So if I am able to send in uh, general media information, the applications like the Dim Touch or GarageBand or even Roland French Jam will actually uh, take that information and do something with it. So, so what do you think? Do you think it's working? It's and as you see, there you have the quite nice. I have the kick drum yeah. and I have also a snare. Playing with it, I'm just going to show you. And I have also a crash on the side, so pretty neat, isn't it? Very nice. So, could I buy this shit on Apple Store? No, you cannot buy it on Apple Store yet, but we will see in the future. Yeah, we're going to take it one step further. As I said, uh, I have implemented a couple of trigger inputs as well. So I have this, uh, so I've connected a, a, a kick drum or a kick pedal as well. It's a KD8, I believe, from Roland. And I have also a hi-hat uh, <coughs> pedal from an FD. FD8, I believe it is, or FD7. So uh, and connected that to to the to the cajon in the in the rear. Uh, I'm just gonna fix that cable. So, so uh, I have actually <coughs> in the, in the Mega Drum forum we have created an application called MD Commander to actually 
be able to handle all the configuration on an iPad. It's a subset of the Megadrum Manager, which is av available for the PCs and for Macintosh. And so, so it's basically doing the same thing, but it's on a, well, you can do it on an iPad or an iPhone. So, and actually, I have a couple of different uh, settings loaded, so I can just show you. I have. No, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna do like this. Get all. So I'm actually reading all the config from the the Megadrum from the Megadrum module inside the Cajon. So it's almost there, so there you go. And I, if I go on global, I can see it's the right config, config number four. Just to show you, we have, I have like nine different configs. If I go with a, the Megadrum or the, the Cajon and a PC or a Mac or whatever. So, so but it's it's right config right now. Just to give you an example also, looking on the, this is the, the Tom, which I had been defined somewhere on the e uh, and uh, <coughs> I can set the MIDI channel, the curb, the sensitivity, the yeah, you can do almost everything and store it down to the Megadrum module. So, and you do it that, that from the iPad. So, so I'm gonna close that one and I'm going back to the Alice's uh, DM Touch application again. <coughs> Let's see what's happening. There we go. I'm gonna Fire up my very tight fun kit, which I like. That's that. It's with us, okay, great. And I'm just gonna show you. And as you see, if I click on the pedal, it's working. There you go, the Yeah, and I have the snare, it's still there. And I have also the hi hat. something some, something nice and easy here So that's how it's working. So, e cajon together with the Megadrum module, a couple of pedals, the Alesis DM Touch application, an iPad, and you're almost set. Thank you for watching.